You know, these various strains of microorganisms that we have within us um, are picking up names for themselves. Uh, they're starting to become somewhat sentient, semi-sentient. And um, right out in front is the Martian bacteria, um, which are deeper thinkers and technologically adept. And um, then a very happy-go-lucky or very sad, very emotional sort of being is the, is the yeasts, candida. And then we have terror on the high seas, a paramecia. <laughs> <laughs> which I still have to find out if there are any in the in the in the human body. So um, uh, apparently they're picking up this process of naming themselves and naming the other semi-sentient species in us that inhabit us. And I'm toying with the notion that because they've done this on their own. Uh, they may be inappropriately naming themselves and each other, and that there may be uh, names that we could provide that would be more uplifting and more full of awareness than the ones that they're using now. So if you notice yours using over and over again certain names, uh, and you can th get them to agree to try out new names that you feel are more uplifting, that might be one way to, um, to, to help uplift humanity. Because in order for us to be uplifted, all of our dependent species must also be um, uh, help, helped to, to be uplifted as well. Uh, I also think that these simple phrases that are being used in the case of uh, Candida could be, could be altered a little bit um, in the future to to help the human population um, adjust itself better than it has in the past. Uh, just because there's inter an interdependence between the uh, extremely pro prolific multiplication ability of the yeast and the desire of human beings to also um, ratchet up on sexual daydreams and so forth. Um, so uh, and these might lead to action. So so by helping our yeast population uh, ratchet down a little on multiplication and arithmetic and so forth, um, we might actually uh, help to tailor the the changes in numbers of human beings on Earth. I think we can also help turn the human psyche from negative to positive by making sure that the, that we uh, acknowledge and respect the communications of the uh, semi-sentient and sentient species that we cohabit this human frame with. We can't always help them to be happy. For instance, if we were tailoring the East population, they might not be happy. To, I was just hearing um, a kind of a, a dirge or a lament, uh, like a death song, uh, or it's very beautiful actually. Uh, it used a person's name. We don't know uh, the reason for it, but it could have been actually defecation on the part of a human. Um, not me at that time. And uh, someone, someone inside the human body, someone else's human body, was lamenting the loss of the microorganisms that were eliminated from the human body through excretion. And, it, and the sound of the dirge went like this. I won't say the name of the of that the, they called it because that's purely arbitrary, based on some thought form of the human probably. Um, so the name was M dot 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 D dot dot dot, and but I will say mm mm instead. So, so it went like this: Oh, mm mm, I do love you. Oh, mm mm, I do love you. Like that, and and so it it was 
in the case, if it, if it had to do with the Martian bacteria, you know, they're constantly losing uh, their portion of their members through uh, excretion if they live in the colon. And so, um, and so it's a bittersweet kind of thing because they have a cloned individual consciousness that continues even when some of their members are lost. Uh, I was very touched by it, actually. It's a process that of grieving that happens to this species, if in fact this was this species and that was what was happening. Uh, it happens to them day after day. So, huh, a racial lament, uh, uh, a beautiful touching uh, lament for the loss of their 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 cloned brothers and sisters. <laughs>